So can improve the way the remote trigger works with the R6 Mark II and possibly all subsequent cameras. One thing they did was they removed the infrared sensor, so you can't use infrared remote triggers anymore. Now, that wasn't the first camera Ken did that on because they've already done that on the EOS R, but then we introduced the infrared sensor in the R5 and the R6. But let me show you first how things worked initially. And uh, we go from there. I have the Canon RC1 here. This is the original remote infrared trigger. And if I push the button, nothing happens. And that is because I have to go into the Q menu and I have to go and see. I have to uh, select the self timer 10 second remote or the two second remote. So we'll just take the two second remote and we'll try this again. And as you can see, that took a picture and I can then switch to the, the delayed image. And as you can see, two seconds and click. Okay. And I can, if I click on video, so it's the bottom, bottom here, nothing happens. And the reason for that is, first of all, it needs to be enabled. So I go to video mode and then we go to menu. And here in menu five, remote control, enable. Go back out. So if I press the button, you can see that the recording has now started. Press the button again, the recording stops. Oh, and you have to be in video mode. So if I went to stills mode and I put this to the video setting, nothing happens. So it doesn't work. So you have to be in video mode to start video recording. Let's go to Bluetooth. So we have this um, JGC Bluetooth remote. It's basically the same as, as the Canon one. Um, it's called the uh, GGC BTRC1. And what we do is we'll um, go in the menu. And we go to wireless and uh, Bluetooth settings and we enable that. Enable. Okay. Menu, then Wi Fi Bluetooth connection. Add device. Okay. And then I press the tele and white buttons on the remote until it starts blinking. Pairing is now starting. It's paired. Okay. Great out of the menu and what happens now is that um, if I press the shutter button now nothing happens on the infrared remote if I go and I say disable Bluetooth menu menu See now I'm getting uh, images again. So try this again. Yeah. So now it's taking stills again. So basically you can only either use the infrared remote or the Bluetooth remote. And you need to choose which one you want, uh, want to use by disabling or enabling Bluetooth. Or you can also turn the airplane mode on. And Let's see here, we take the uh, take the JGC remote, press this, nothing happens because Bluetooth is off. So let's go back into the menu. Enable, go out, that's okay. And if I now go and I press the button here, I get my picture. If I click, uh, if I click this uh, button here down into the second position, so second position. That's the delayed one. Okay. And if I put it in the last position, which should be video, 
nothing happens. If I click over into video, recording starts, recording stops, go out of video mode, I'm now in, in photo mode, nothing happens. So it, it needs to be in the right setting to, to do this. And that's sort of the, the annoying thing because you have a switch on the remote and you have a button that you can start video in stills mode. So why wouldn't it work on the remote? Besides for the Bluetooth remote, the same thing applies. You have to be in the drive mode for two seconds or 10 second remote, one of these two. Let's switch the camera. So on the Canon R6 Mark II, um, things are different. So when we go into the menu here, okay, and there is no, you don't need to enable recording for video. So we go straight into the wireless settings. Sorry, see first pan here, uh, second, third, um, we will enable Bluetooth. Okay, out of menu, airplane mode is off, and then connect to wireless remote. Add device to connect to. Is this busy? Please wait. Um, I'm now pressing the buttons on the remote to pair it. Pairing in process. Okay, paired. Yeah, so it has a remote here. Let's go out menu menu and what you can see here is in this case I have the Ken uh, BRE1 but that's exactly the same as the JJC and if I'm in make sure I'm in photo mode that first first one so on on the R6 you don't have to do anything after that anymore so you it just basically takes the remote in all drive modes you click here I then click this one on down. Two second, uh, two second shot, right? And then click it down in the bottom setting. So this video mode. And it starts recording video. Stop the recording of video again. That's it. Just pair the remote and off you go. Infrared is obviously not an option. With the uh, launch of the uh, Canon EOS R6 Mark II, they uh, removed the infrared sensor. You can see that the R7 was pretty much the last one that had it. And if you look here on the, there's the infrared sensor. Um, they tried it already with the EOS R, um, but they removed it and um, we introduced it then again for the R5 and the R6. On the R5C it's sort of essential because you don't have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth in the uh, CineOS portion, so in video mode. Um, but by, by the R6 Mark II, obviously Ken has decided that um, they won't implement infrared anymore and they then also revamped the menu, which is great because you can now trigger everything without having to do anything on the camera. So that's a, that's a nice addition. The other thing I reckon why they simplified it or why they could simplify it was that with infrared beforehand, you wanted to be able to turn infrared to, to, to make sure that you, the camera should be using the trigger or not. Because any Canon infrared remote in the room could switch all cameras on and off. So having to, first of all, set the photo mode to accept the trigger and then separately having to set the video mode to accept the trigger allowed that you could exclude certain cameras from being triggered by infrared. With Bluetooth, that's not needed anymore because every camera gets a, a unique Bluetooth device paired and it will only trigger that one camera. So that's why they were able to simplify it. I only came across this by chance um, that it had changed that much. So I figured it was a good idea to make a video on this. I hope this was helpful. And if, leave a like, maybe subscribe. And a couple more videos uh, to watch. There.